Some local teams are making a difference, addressing many issues that impact our area. And this month, they're going to be pitching their ideas to better our community at the fifth annual Philanthropy Tank. And so joining us today is Anija Graham, one of the teams who was named as a finalist in this event, and Michael Koner, who is an investor for this event and co-founder of Philanthropy Tank. Michael, I can't believe another year has gone by. Another year, five years have gone by oh pretty quick. Oh my goodness, now. has it been that long? And it's amazing, every year these students seem to get sharper, brighter, these projects are out of this world. Anija, first of all, congratulations to you. This Thank is a big you. deal. Thank you. Are you pretty excited? Yes, but nervous. <laughs> well, what's reason to be a lot on the line from what I understand. For our viewers at home, tell them about your project. So it's called Stand Up Be Counted. It's a community involvement um, um, charity out in Belle Glade Polk in South Bay, Florida. It's we're going to select 10 agents of change. Okay. And with that, we're going to go out and inform the community on the importance and responding back to the census and voting. Now, key word there, the census. We've been talking a lot about that for the last <laughs> several months. This is such an impressive project because, Michael, you know this. Um, it really speaks to a need that we've had an issue here in South Florida with this, and we've got a youngster here wanting to respond and meet that need. Absolutely. It's a big deal. Yeah, that, that is a big deal. I mean, I think in terms of everybody, and when you meet with some of the um, local leaders which I have out there sure. too, and she's going to get introduce some of them. The importance of being counted because it, federal dollars are allocated At based stake. on the amount of the population and then getting everybody to get counted is that they're not scared. To, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, there's I a process. Kinda, it's I, a, ask educational. You from, from your angle as an investor, as a co-founder, when you hear just the, the magnitude of some of these projects, how impressed are you? Well, I'm amazed of the creativity and it's the passion of, you know, yeah. We've already gone through over the five years, we've funded $400,000 to 33 wow. different student groups, which has really invoked over 500 students to date and impacting our local community. We've probably impacted over 200,000 people. So again, it's just not her, it's part of her team. She already has yeah. eight people involved in this project and she's looking to ramp it up with more of kids at her school well, and it becomes a club and that's gonna happen i know and i should you mentioned agents of change and one of the ways you really want to get people to be involved uh, in the census you and your team you've said we've got to go straight to other teams people that look like us and they're the ones who will encourage their parents their aunts their uncles to really be counted yes it's very important because nowadays teams are more impactful on adults than adults on adults. So if we can get teens to um, encourage their parents to do it, then yeah. there's more people that respond. Well, we wish you all the best. We want to let you. our viewers know the Philanthropy Tank is taking place on Thursday, the 19th. People can find tickets there. We've got some information on your screen at eventbrite.com. You all, we appreciate you being here today. All the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you, Michael, for Thank what you, you do. We appreciate it.